Good day ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ofense. Please welcome to Trendlines Trader. This is a YouTube channel where we do our daily analysis. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to focus on US 100, Nasdaq 100 or Nas 100. And we are on daily time frame. This is a favorite, favorite uh, instrument or in this that everyone is always after i believe ladies and gentlemen when you look at our chart uh we can see that previously our chart was very bullish i what i can say is this was around last year sometime last year because during the beginning of the year our price uh, started uh, pushing towards the downside as we can see it was uh, very bearish as you can see it was very bearish the price was pushing towards the downside and just a few days ago a uh, few weeks actually we broke out of this structure the price gave us this uh trend a bullish trend so we can see on our daily time frame that we have been uh this is what they have been happening on our daily time frame let's push closer to the price and be able to tell where the price is going ladies and gentlemen i want you to notice this notice here the price gave us this beautiful structure here which is a uh, previous resistance and still current resistance and still our current resistance as you can see the price is playing around this area if we break this area we will see our price pushing towards the upside as we always wish the buyers wishes the price to break this um, resistance this current resistance so that you can continue buying and the sellers they wish this price could respect the area and push towards the downside so what we can do now we are focusing on how the price moves you can see that our price on this bullish uh what you call this bullish trend or the price is giving us something like this this looks like a trend but another thing that we shouldn't forget we should always remember our uh, candlestick patterns uh, where we where we can oh what is it a chart pattern what yeah candlestick patterns where we can see that our price might be giving us a double bottom before it push towards the downside obviously usually when we have the double bottom the price it's either push will push towards the downside and if it doesn't give us that uh, double bottom this will act as a previous resistance as the price will break out of it and retest and push towards the upside and this will be previous resistance broken and now it will be turned into a support zone no longer uh, resistance as you can see previously this area it was our support and it was broken up until the price retested and pushed towards the downside that that made our our area to be the resistance as it is our previous resistance the price respected it uh, now the price respected it a few days ago and at the moment we are retesting either the price will push towards the downside to respect the area or will break and push towards the upside as you can see that so this is our daily time frame and we can see that on daily time frame we had a very nice um, candlestick uh, pattern candlestick pattern here as you can see we have a bullish uh, candlestick that engulfs our previous uh bearish candlestick so this type of uh, candlestick pattern usually sometimes we find it to be a bullish uh, candlestick pattern that says that our price will push or continue to push towards the upside but we just have to wait and see whether the price gives us that uh, confirmation of either we breaking out of this uh, area resistance or we respect and go 
towards the downside another thing that i want you guys to understand or to witness let's check our rsi usually the rsi i will be using it some people use it for what you call they use it for uh sort of structure of overbought and oversold when you find the price like right here you can see they will say it's oversold like right here they will say it's overbought so i usually use it to look for the divergence hidden divergence one thing that i want you to understand is look at your price and we join them look at where the price was and look where the rsi was then we join where the the previous uh, lower lower low the price gave us another lower low as you can see the price was continuing selling or continuing with the bearish momentum and on our rsi the price gave us a lower lower low and at this turning point instead of continuing with the lower low momentum as the price goes our rsi gave us a lower high i hope you get to understand what i'm trying to show you i hope you guys understand this this is our lower high according to the rsi and here we had lower low so it says the price changed the momentum the price changed the uh what you call the trend on the rsi and then on the price action the price it's still pushing towards the downside so this shows you that this is our hidden divergence the price is gonna be bullish as you can see it was bullish on that uh, on that uh, uh, instance that i'm trying to show you on that uh, point that i'm trying to make right there so ladies and gentlemen let's go down to our time frame with uh let's go to four hourly time frame look at that and be able to see let's just push close to the price and be able to see where is the price uh previously the price just was bullish as you can see with our 21 ema that's my indicator right there i love to use 21 ema for confirming that the price is a bullish or is bearish uh, i can make you understand that the 21 ema when it's like this when it's below our price as you can see it says the price is bullish it acts as uh, our support it acts as our support so whenever you find it on top of our our price it acts as a resistance for example you see it's above our price action it's our price above our price and it says that the trend is bearish it acts as a resistance i hope that makes uh, sense to you guys you can see that uh we are above our 200 uh ema smooth actually sma smooth yeah smooth moving average when we whenever we are above it we just have to look for those long uh what you call it, long trends the long bullish trends usually when we are below the 200 sma as you can see the price here came below or broke below and then we push towards the downside so it's as it's exactly as you will do your trend lines and exactly as you will use it for what you call um as i use it as in i mean these indicators i'm using them as you you will find that i will struggle to find the long uh bearish or long bullish uh trends so this act as my indicator to say dude we are below 200 then look for the long selling trends and when we are above as you can see we are above it broke above it the price just came 
broke and now retesting we might have that long bullish uh what you call that long bullish trend yes i hope you guys get uh, to understand what i'm trying to tell you but the one thing that i want you to know is that we are just playing around this area the previous resistance as you can see and then the price if breaks out of it during the opening session you can tell that we are going to the moon towards the moon and if we respect the price we will have to look for the selling positions or selling trades as you can see or as selling opportunities as you can see that our price is right here on for hourly time frame one thing that i want you guys to notice again let's start doing our trend lines you can see that our price has been giving us this type of structure i hope you guys get are able to get what i'm showing you what i'm showing you what i'm showing you you see now i'm always doing double lines so that i can remember that this is a zone uh i wanted to do it like this so that i can always remember this is my support zone i don't have to go around and say where is my support zone at the moment so you can see on four hourly time frame when we zoom out the chart a little bit one thing that i want you to also check on is your line chart to confirm that you uh you drew your chart i mean your trend lines on the correct uh, turning points of the chart as you can see the chart will always give you this um turning points this is where you have to see whether your your trend lines touches the you join those touches correctly so the reason i'm doing double lines is because i don't want to miss anything when it comes to japanese candlesticks let's go to japanese candlesticks and be able to tell you whether the price still respecting the area or we still continue so ladies and gentlemen this is something that i foresee i see if the price respects the area the resistance that i have been preaching we can see the price pushing towards the uh, support zone diagonal support zone and if it respects our diagonal support zone we can see our price push towards the upside and break out of this um the uh, your horizontal resistance i hope this makes sense to you guys i hope it does because this is very clear one thing that i want you to understand is that if we continue or the price doesn't respect this area we might push towards the downside and respect our diagonal uh, support zone before we see the price push towards the upside this is possible remember we are not the market movers some of us traders we just trade what the price presents to us and there are market movers out there if the market movers the big banks your banks your big money traders those who trade with billions or millions if they want to push the market towards the downside they can do so at any time they just have to go and calculate whether they want to make more money or if there's the liquidation around here they can just play around and take all that uh or those stop losses out and then push towards the downside that's how they move that's how they move the market they will calculate whether there's a lot of stop losses there's a liquidation there so they can just come and fake break and push the price towards the downside that's another lesson for another day let's save that lesson for another day you'll get to understand it better later when we do the video about that uh, one so we can see that nasdaq 100 our possible move when we look at our um, uh, our 21 ema exponential moving average it tells us that as you can see is going like this 
we might see the price um, pushing towards the downside before we go the upside or even break towards the downside because at the moment even our 21 ema is not uh, giving us exact uh, exact uh, confirmation that the price is either pushing towards the downside or it's either pushing towards the upside but we will see we will see if the price maybe come closer to the ema and then respect the area or then make a u-turn towards the upside then we will say our ema it will be just below those candlesticks towards the upside i hope that makes sense to you guys i hope that makes sense so this is our us 100 i wanna look at them or oh, just take a peek on our us 30 dow jones let's look at our dow jones hey where is my chart now okay there we go i just had to restart it and i was like okay let's look at the uh, our chart on four hourly time frame and let me remove the drawing so that you can be able to see this is for hourly time frame and this is our instrument so ladies and gentlemen let's move closer to the chart by zooming in and be able to tell where is the price going during the opening session we might be having the us 30 is moving very nicely another thing that i want to confirm i want i like to use is the line chart remember that our price gave us this type of structure previously as you can see right here we had something like this allow me to draw this so that we can be able to confirm that we had touches this was a trend a bearish trend we had that touches and the price broke retested as you can see now is playing around this area the price is not pushing towards the upside or towards the downside we are just playing around this area at the current moment you can see our price uh, let me remove this our price gave us this type of structure uh, let me do it let me place it here so that you guys able to see so currently our price gave us this type of structure and couldn't manage to break out of it another thing that i want you to witness is that our price can come back towards this area oh i thought i clicked it our price can come back towards this area right here as you can see so if our price come towards this area right i was looking for making it a, a, a demand because this is our demand area and our supply area so you can see our price push towards the demand area anyway i can do it i can do it nothing will stop me to do it like i not that one allow me to do it like a demand mm. it takes time but i will just have to do it so that we are able to tell that our price this is our demand area we can see our usdt is giving us type of this structure at some point i believe this looks like a more like a, a bearish flag i hope you guys understand your patterns as you can see this is our pole and this is our flag the price gave us this type of structure if it doesn't continue with the structure towards our demand area the price 
might uh, continue giving us this type of structure where it will respect the area and push towards the upside reason why it might respect the area let's go to our line chart and see where are the turning points where are the turning points where we can see the price is giving us uh, something to trade with or something to work with you can see here uh, allow me to remove this since we broke out of it yes this is so nice to use the line chart as you can see right here look at this right here look at this turning point right here with the line chart with the line chart it's able it's easy for you to be able to see whether your trend line look at it if i put it there it gels nicely with this type of structure that you see right here and that's the touch on that other side and when we go back to your oh let me clone it and see what is happening here and put this one right here isn't it beautiful isn't it something that makes sense clearly it does clearly it does make sense let's go to japanese uh, candlesticks and be able to see what is exactly happening here on our four hourly chart excuse me yeah you can see that our price is the uh, uh let me remove it there uh, and place that double uh, as i always use double lines to accommodate those weeks i hope it makes sense so it's an area it's not just a, it's a zone it's not just a play or a line where the price um and i wanted to is so that i don't forget as you can see our price on four hourly time frame can push towards the upside our price can come and respect the area and push towards the upside maybe break out of this uh, resistance the previous resistance and retest to give us the support and push towards the moon so one thing that i want you to see again i can see this type of pattern i hope you able to see it i hope you able to see the head and shoulder okay if it's not that visible to some of you guys let me go to the lower time frame let's go to 60 minutes one hour and be able to tell what is this remember the support zone this is something like this it's an inverse head and shoulder i hope you are able to tell this is our head this is our uh, what we call our uh, right shoulder right here i hope this makes sense because one thing that i can tell is that the price might even make a u turn just right at this level right here as you can see that we are left with two minutes for this candlestick to close just left with two minutes right there for this candlestick to close and though this candlesticks looks like uh your three black crow candlestick pattern but i can assure you that it might respect the area and push towards the upside as you can see previously the price gave us a support zone type of structure 
where we can say the price came to the area let me do it like this the price came towards this area right here and pushed towards the upside see it was respecting the area i always use the lines especially on the weeks there to confirm that the price whenever it reaches this area it will either respect the area or it will either break the air the area now you can see the price is giving us your rejection candlestick that shows that the price is about to make a u-turn and push towards the upside and that will confirm our head and shoulder structure it's been respected and now you can see our price will be very very bullish anyway let's look at the um, what you call your rsi to see if there's any divergence hidden divergence there that we can trade at uh, the current moment i can tell this is our head this is our is our shoulder this is a divergence hidden divergence you see okay let me delete this and use this uh, trend line i hope you guys are able to see the divergence here the price is still going towards the downside and look at this look at this long week here. okay let me close this so that you guys can be able to ah, how does it why does it has to why does it clicking itself why you see the long week here the price make it 10 oh i can join it from the long week there to confirm that this is a divergence clearly the price is gonna respect the area and push towards the upside if not we're gonna continue towards this uh, support zone diagonal support zone and respect it maybe before we push towards the upside okay ladies and gentlemen thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe and if you haven't subscribed and please click on the notification bell there so that you can be notified every time i upload the video and ladies and gentlemen please 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 don't forget to like and share the video with